Hi guys, and welcome back to anti Minor Dimensions. <clears throat> so I've let this production run go overnight, and I can eternity for E53 eternity points. So I'm going to buy my time theorems first, and then eternity. I'll buy them until I have 130, because I don't really need more, except they're cheap, so I can get some. And I just noticed something. There's a there's probably a new eternity upgrade at E fifty eternity points. Time dimensions are multiplied by days played. And then I can max this and then finally max my time dimensions. And um now let me just respect my studies and I have four hundred and sixty one time theorems. So I'll be right back. I'll just see what I need to do. Okay guys, it looks like the next one I need to do is eight. So, um, remember, we're allowed to use whatever build we want to unlock it, but we have to, um, but when doing it, we only get the studies up to here. There we go. So I'm going to respec, um, get up to here as usual, and then unlock the challenge, and then we're going to... Um, I like to turn these off, just because, um, you start with E25 infinity points, and sometimes it, like, buys some levels that are not in one. So I'm going to buy 50 of these, like usual, and then I'm going to get, um, for this one I'm going to get 5 replicated galaxies. 10% replicate chance and the rest in interval. So it's gonna be a while because we're gonna have to get our replicated galaxies, so I will see you then. Okay guys, I'm back a bit later and I've got my replicated galaxies, so I'm going to fill in the rest of my studies and hopefully that will be good. There we go. And that's the challenge complete. So I'm going to do another production run and we'll see how it goes. So, um... So yeah, see you in a few minutes. Okay guys, I'm back and we've and we've got into this production run where I made the stupid mistake of forgetting to turn on my infinity dimension autobars after eternity challenge eight, so yeah. So I'm going to buy my ten theorems and we're up to E three million. I can probably get fifty E fifteen thousand four hundred infinity points for another time theorem. Now I know it doesn't matter, but I just wanna do it. I'm going to eternity, um, I'm going to buy more time theorems, like, maybe that many, I'll max this, get my time dimensions, and then I will, um, just, how many time theorems do I have? 499, so I'll just see what to do. Okay, guys, I'm back, and it looks like the answer is another production run because I want f because it says I want 522 time theorems for Eternity Challenge Nine, and it is an expensive challenge, so maybe they're right. So um, I don't have any auto buyers missing, and don't have to worry about that. So yeah, I will see you in another bit. Okay, guys, I'm back, and I'm gonna buy my time theorems, and then I'm going to Eternity. I'm going to buy my time theorems, my eternity point multiplier, and my time dimensions. And then I'm going to start eternity challenge 9. So, I think the build is um, time dimensions plus active, if I remember correctly. Then the requirement is 1 17,500 infinity power. So let's see, um, 11,000, 12,000, 13,000, 14,000, 15,000, 16,000, and it looks like we're getting close to 17,500, which is good. There we go. But it looks like... Looks like I'll have to cut down on some time studies. 
It looks like only this one, though. So I'm unfortunately going to have to do some crunching. But it's okay. Because the thing about Eternity Challenge um, 9 is it sort of has a problem with Time Study 181 because it's because like you can't afford to study with 181 until like later completions, like 4 or something. Um, so you're Infinity Power, it's only 9,000. Come on. Um, and then I'm going to crunch. The infinity points are the thing that helps most. Um, and I'm going to just keep crunching. We're up to E13,000. I guess I can do some quick crunches. Oh, we need 87 replicated galaxies. It's just a time well. Come on. It's driving me crazy. And look look at this. But the crunching really helps. Um we need ninety three. And then yeah, we'll just keep going. 16,000. We're so close. It's just gonna taunt me for the rest of my life. But it's fine. Come on. We can just crunch again, I guess. We are so close, bro. And here we go. We can get the challenge. And the challenge is you can't buy tick speed upgrades, but infinity power multiplies time dimensions with reduced effect. And I don't even know if it applies normal dimensions. What's the goal? E1750. Infinity points. I guess I could get my max, re max replicated galaxies, which will help. Um... Yeah, I think we can do this. Here we go. And that's the challenge. So, um, I'm going to set it up to do another production run, and we've done so much this episode, so I think I will hope you enjoyed, and I will see you guys later. Bye! Oh, um, wait, I forgot about Time study 181. But anyway, bye.